try this again. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick White here, and uh, I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I do all the lead code problems. So check the description; you can find everything that you need about me personally. And I do all of these problems, so you can check the videos. I probably got it up by now. I got a ton of them up. This one's called binary tree pr uh, pruning. I've done like all these binary tree problems almost. So it's a medium problem. A uh, pretty good problem. Um, it says we are given a head node root of a binary tree where all the nodes values are either 0 or 1. So we're given the root to a binary tree. Binary tree means you have a left and right node, the children nodes, um, and the node values are 1 or 0. 1 or 0. And we want to remove every subtree that does not contain a 1. So um, basically we're going to traverse this tree and if we find a subtree that doesn't contain a one, so we see like here, this doesn't contain a one. This is a subtree, see this subtree right here? But it has a right child of a one. So that we're not gonna delete this node, but this is a subtree where the left and right node are null. So that technically doesn't contain a one. We're deleting that. Um, then here, right, this is a subtree where there's no ones, we delete those. So you kind of get the idea. We're just traversing and deleting subtrees that don't contain one. So first thing we're going to want to do with three problems is just uh, if root is null, then we are going to return null. Um, otherwise, we're going to call our helper method contains one on the root, and then we're going to return root because root return. We're going to just modify the main tree um, that we're given, and then we're going to return the root because it's still going to be the root of the new tree which isn't a new tree, it's the same tree. We're modifying the tree in place. So public boolean contains one. There's gonna be a method that we use that will tell us whether our node it, our node is a subtree that contains a one. Uh, so we're gonna pass in a node here. If node is equal to null, we're just gonna return false, right? Because it doesn't contain a one. Then we're going to have these new boolean values called left contains where we do a recursive call on the left, root.left, and we're gonna have a boolean called right contains, where we do a recursive call on the right. Um, got a lot of people talking around this, sorry guys. And then we do, if the left doesn't contain, if the left doesn't contain uh, one, then we're just going to set node.left to null and remove that subtree completely. And if the right doesn't contain, we're going to set the right to null and remove that subtree completely. Um, so we just remove the node if it doesn't contain, because these will just keep doing recursive calls and it'll check the whole subtree. So we could just take that one node out immediately and we're discarding the whole subtree. So if we find that the left doesn't contain and the right doesn't contain, we just set it to null. And then all we have to do after that is return that node.val is equal to one, left or left contains, or right contains. Because this is gonna give us our, uh, this is gonna return true if we do see a one which is what we need to do when we do all these recursive calls, because if we see a one, then we would see the left contains, the right contains, and uh, it's also checking that along with or uh, each of these left and right contains. So if the value is a one, or the left or right contain a one, then it's safe, and uh, that's pretty much it. We just return it, and we'll submit it, and this is should work. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, we're putting the word root on accident. We actually have to just put node because that's what we're taking in here. Always good to check stuff like that. And that's it, success. So that's pruning a binary tree. I think that's what it's called, binary tree pruning. Uh, pretty easy problem right there, even though it's a medium, but um, I like it. It was pretty good. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments about explaining it. Sorry about the volume. There's people talking. I'm in a library, but um, yeah, check out the other videos and thank you guys very much. See ya.